Hi Aquarius, this is your Twin Flame Connection for January 22 to 28, 2018. Okay, before we get started, let me say thank you, thank you, thank you for those who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you, thank you so much. For those who have sent your donations, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And for those who have booked a private reading with me, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, guys. And for those who have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And for those who feel so generous today, you might want to send me some donations if you feel like it. And for those who want to book a private reading, you can always send me an email at clairvoyancebu at gmail.com. All details are found below on the description box for the donations and for um, my email ad for um, when you want to book a private reading. So, um, I want to, sh to say something first. Guys, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you or there are some parts of the reading that may resonate with you and not 90%, not 100%. So, we'll just pick around. Just choose which ones do resonate. And maybe... I can also go to um, check around other um, zodiac signs if you want to cross watch or if your Venus sign is of another zodiac sign aside from being an Aquarius. Okay, so let's get started. Spirit guides, all the angels and fairies of the earth, give me all the strength, give me all the power. To give the message for the Twin Flame Connection for Aquarius for January 22 to 28, 2018. Sending you love, sending you all positive vibes, all the good things coming your way. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. This is your connection towards the other person. This is the person's connection towards you. This is the challenge here. And this is the outcome. So, are you ready, Aquarius? Let's get started. First is... This is for January 22 to 28, 2018. First is a two of swords in reverse, meaning <clears throat> communication is really doing well. For the next seven days so i think you guys are communicating properly um there are no conflicts if there are conflicts they are being fixed right away um the two of you are doing your best not to level up the conflicts or having a misunderstanding be show away because you don't want to mess up the communication because you guys have been doing well with communicating with each other and also, you also feel that the other person you're connected with is doing his or her best to communicate well to you. And you also is returning the favor towards that person as well. So, Aquarius, your connection for the next seven days is doing well. Conflicts are not that big. If there are, um, you guys are going to solve it. And I, there are no arguments. There are no misunderstandings or not. And things are getting well when it comes to the communication era or area, I mean. Next is <clears throat> Four of Swords in reverse. I know, I get this feeling that few of you have this against all odds type of twin flame connection. It's like you and the other person. Uh, you know, the, the intensity of your connection, people don't like it. Maybe your family don't like the person you're connected with or the person that is connected with, with you know, to you will uh, have, uh, like, the, his or her family is against you also. Uh, something like that, against all odds kind of thing. But the thing is, with regards to you, you are not listening to what other people are talking about regarding your twin flame. 
you're not bringing it with you, you're not taking it all in, whatever they say, you're gonna put it, you know, aside, you don't listen to it, you don't take it personally, because at the end of the day, you really know who the person is you're connected with, you know uh, his or her deepest desires, you know that this person is really true to you, that's all that matters, and you already see it for yourself. So, you know real, what that person is after, or you know his, his or her soul, so to speak. You really know that. So, good for you, Aquarius. You're listening to your intuition. You're listening to yourself. And, you, and it's only you who really knows about the connection. What other people see or hear or whatever their perception is with regards to your twin flame, they don't know a thing. They only know maybe a little. They only see what's on the surface, but beneath it, they don't see it at all. Okay? Next. Aquarius. It's six of cups. The, it can be two things. It's like bringing in the past, your past, the intensity of your connection, the, in, the intensity of, um, the love that you have for each other for those who have you know have, who have been separated with your twin flame yes it can be that or it can be also that you are that you are wanting to offer your love to that person to the person that you're connected with it can be also so again it can be your uh, bringing in the past with the, the intensity of the connection the intensity of the love Anything that is in intense, yeah, you intense when it comes to emotions. So you're going to bring it again or you're thinking or you're even wanting to offer love towards that person. Okay, so let's see what the other person is feeling towards you. First is the world card. If you first, the person feels that you are really too slow in, you know, when it comes to showing off what you really feel towards that towards him or her yeah there's i can feel that this person is getting impatient already yeah however this person is still holding on actually okay next is this person is not happy with that connection that this person is having with you yeah it seems that this person is feeling that Whatever he or she is putting out within the connection, you are not reciprocating it. Too much effort and you're not showing off anything or you're, you're not even showing any care or concern to him or her. It seems like you're just being um, numb or yeah, something like that. Or you, you are just good of hiding your feelings. That's why this person is feeling not happy at all because it seems like you're not reciprocating. Whatever he or she is putting out there to you. So, okay, I can feel that this person is getting sad and impatient regarding the connection. Next is four of pentacles in reverse. This person is not holding on the connection as tight as what he or she has been in the past. In the past, yes, this person is holding on so tight with the connection. But now, for the next seven days, this person is not holding on to it. Yeah. Next, the challenge is... The challenge is five of pentacles. The challenge is you guys. Or someone is going to be left out in the cold. Maybe it's the other person you connect. Is the person you're connected with? The person feels he, he or she's being left out in the cold because, or maybe you feel that you're being left out in the cold, or someone, or the two of you are, fe two of you are feeling being left out in the cold, or it can also be the two of you are being broke. You're broke financially. This is a challenge. You guys are broke financially or you are broke financially or he or she is broke financially. That's also another challenge of the connection. Or the connection that you guys are having is not that stable at all. It can lead to 
um, not break up because you guys are not together. Well, some of you guys are not together. Um, I can sense that um, there's a tendency that the connection might be lost. That's also another challenge in the connection for the next seven days. It might be lost. But guess what? The outcome is Ace of Pentacles, meaning the connection is going to start to stabilize, which is a good thing, Aquarius. The connection is going to stabilize, stabilize in the next few days for the January 22 to 28, 2018. Now, let's see what the spirit guys have to say regarding this connection. First is listen to your intuition, Aquarius. Remember, your intuition will not fail you. Whatever your intuition says, follow it. It will never, never, never lead you to stray, okay? Your intuition knows where are you going. Your intuition knows if the connection is really genuine or if the connection needs to move up a notch or something. Listen to your intuition, okay? And Aquarius is a yes. This connection is a yes. So don't be afraid to proceed with offering love to this person. Um, do not be afraid to show or reciprocate whatever this person is giving to you because it's a genuine connection. It's a yes. Go for it. Go for it, Aquarius. Go for it. Next is, this connection is going to help you improve your health because you, you know for a fact, that when you guys are separated, for those who are separated with your twin, twin flame, you are feeling you're you're feeling not good deep inside. You're not happy. You're stuck. It's something like that. Your health is has been affected. But when you guys are together, you're happy. You're full of energy. You're full of dreams. You're full of ambitions. And this, in one way or the other, is gonna improve your health. Okay. So I hope Aquarius, you're enlightened. On what's gonna happen for the next seven days on January 22 to 28, 2018, in regards to your twin flame connection. And again, let me say thank you, thank you guys for those who subscribe to my channel. Thank you also for those who have sent your donations, and thank you for those who have book reading with me. And those who have not subscribed yet, please do click the subscribe button. And for those who are feeling generous today, you can always, always, always send me a donation. Uh, it's on the description box below. And for those who want to book a reading, do book a reading. Uh, send me an email at clairvoyancebu at gmail.com. The, de the details are also down in the description box. So Aquarius, this is your twin team connection for January 22 to 28, 2018. And... I send you all the love, all the happiness, all the positive vibes to you for the next few days to come. And stay happy and keep smiling, Aquarius.